You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey there, it's Lucky Penny Shop and it's the Holly Hobby Old Fashioned Style Electric Bake Oven. How neat is that? We have the original box and the complete oven on the side there. Remember now, check the description for a playlist or search the channel. Let me point out a few things about this oven. It's from 1976. It's a Coleco product. What you're not seeing there is the slide panel, which is wood, which is really neat. There's an old-fashioned cookbook. Now, we don't have the original mixes, so we're going to bring in something else here from the Easy Bake line. It's got the two pans. It even looks like real burners on the top. This is this a cool oven? How about this? I'm going to clean up the table a little bit, make some room, and we'll show you more details on the oven. Hold on a second. Okay, so here's a close-up of just the oven. Let me show you here. Now, it looks like an oven door. That's kind of just, uh, you know, made to look like that. And there's a little flip lever here. So this actually opens up the side here. Now unlike an easy bake oven where it slides all the way through, this one just has an entry point here so you open this and close this when you want to get your tray in and out. Let me move this up just a little so you can see how cool the top burner section is. So you can pretend like you're cooking. Now there's stickers on the sides which are neat. This is the pie pan by the way. Let me move it over a little bit more. So here's the other side here. Let me readjust the camera and I'll show you a few inner details. Hold on a second. All right, here's looking inside the oven. It's hard to see in there. I really don't want to show you inside, but that's the door I was talking about. So you move that and open and close. So when it's open, then you're going to slide in your item. You're going to pull your paddle out and close the door. And then you're going to start baking. Let me just turn this. Maybe I can get a good shot of the front because it's a neat graphic on there. It says, busy ways make happy days. And it's American Greetings Corp here on the little side there because that's Holly Hobby, right? And Coleco made the oven. So this is cool. How about we get going here? We'll start mixing a recipe up. So I'm going to reset again one more time. Sorry, I hate to do it to you. Hang on. Lego, my ego. Do you remember that commercial? If not, search YouTube. Go find it out there. There was always a toaster popping up and someone reaching for it. Another one going, hey, Lego, my ego. So it's the Kellogg's Ego set for Easy Bake. And we're going to use it on our Holly Hobby oven. Now, if I just uh, move down a little bit here, you'll see we have all the stuff we need, the mixing bowls, the uh, measurers, we even have a little butter to line our pan with because we're not going to use a spray for that. So let me show you what's inside the Lego My Ego kit. I'm going to have to reset this one more time. So there's just so much stuff here to try to fit in, but I want to show it all to you. Here is my Lego My Ego tray with my Easy Bake oven stickers. I'm going to put them on now while I have you here because this to me adds to the whole effect, doesn't it? Let's see, let's get that in there just right. Ooh, not just right. I'm gonna make it perfect. That's one thing I always like to do is try to put stickers on the most perfect way. So, you know, the next person who actually gets to use this will have it just right. Okay, there's that one. Ooh, it's starting to take shape. Let me do the other one. Okay, so it's all part of the process, I guess, is to get our tray set. There we go. Look at that, huh? Pretty cool. Now this actually comes with an insert tray, and this is going to actually go into the regular bake oven tray, and you're going to put it in there, and what's going to happen is it's going to make bake up to make the ego side, so you can see it looks like a, a ego waffle, all right? Now there's mixes in here. Let me show you. This is the blueberry mix, so this is actually just blueberry pieces to make that ego effect. I don't know, let me show you a close-up of the box. So that's what we're going for. And there's also the yellow cake mix. So there's a bunch of those. You can do more than one set here. And then the white frosting mix. This is the white frosting mix. This is the cake mix. All right. So I hate to do it to you. Here's the instructions. Got to get a few more things, straighten up, and get ready to mix. Hold on a second. All right, we're all set. It's kind of nice to have the oven top so you can put your stuff on there. So again, now we got to butter this piece here. Now they say spray, but I'm just going to use butter and my finger. So, see, that's all. Not going to go nuts with any kind of spray. Just use real butter. I like that. Okay, and then this piece here, this is the insert. Now this is going to be bump side up, so we have to uh, spray this bump side because you're going to pour the mix actually on this. Just going to make sure I get all the grooves in both directions. Don't want any sticking. Sorry, sometimes I go out of the camera there, but you know what's going on, right? 
Okay, so once that's like that, that goes in the pan like that, because we're going to pour the mix on top of it. So I'll put it up on my nice little shelf there. I'm going to turn this down. Let's move the butter to the other side. It's kind of nice. And then we'll have the mix. So it's the cake mix, the yellow cake mix, and three teaspoons of water. Okay. There's one, two, And then we're going to mix this now. I'm pushing down with the spoon in case there's any lumps there when I get those out. Okay, looking good. All right, so next, now you got to add some blueberries to this, right? Because we're making Lego my ego, huh? Blueberry muffins. All right, so let me get those. Got that pack here. Already got it open for you. That's what the pack looks like. I'll show you what they look like on the inside here. So one teaspoon. They're kind of crystally. Get those out of the way. Now we'll mix that in. Okay, so we're going to scrape all this off, and we'll just move the oven here a little closer so you can see how nice it is to have that. Now the oven is hot and on, so we're just going to throw it right in after this. Let's get this centered. Let's get this in here. Just spread it out just a little. I see the blueberries in there. See those? Cool. All right, I think we're good there. Now we're going to stick this into the oven. Okay, so hold on a second. Just turn this around. Get my wood spatula. All right. So now what I'm going to do, see what's going on here? I'm going to flip this door open and stick it in the oven. All right, now it's going to take 10 minutes, it says. So we'll set our timer for 10 minutes, and we'll check back. All right, and I'm going to clean up, too, and we'll see it coming out of the oven next. All right, it's been about 10, 12 minutes. Let's get it out of the oven, huh? Ooh, look at that glow. Here we go. I'm going to set it up here, and then I'll readjust the camera so you can get a close-up, and we'll just study it a little bit, all right? Hold on a second. All right, there you go. Nice and brown around the edges. Looks a little light on top, but when we flip it, is when you should see the ego effect. Now, it's one thing I noticed. They're kind of showing you the instructions. You're going to see it on both sides. And they actually show you the insert looks really pronounced. And ours was not like that. It was more rounded. So we're just going to have to run with what we have. We're going to get the effect on the other side. So this has got to cool for 10 minutes. We're going to flip it over, and then we're going to decorate it. This is exciting. Hang on. All right. It's cooled down to the touch. Nice and ready. And I have... My next mix that we need to do, which is the marshmallow cream. Now, I'm not going to mix it all, so I'm going to try to compensate here. Maybe do about half with one, one teaspoon. It actually called for two teaspoons to do the whole bag. I'm going to just kind of gauge that there and do one. We'll start with a little bit. That was like a half. There's another one. Then you mix to whip. So we'll see as I go here. Give me a little bit more. Let me tilt the camera down just a little bit more to keep that angle there. Okay. Yeah, so it is getting a little foamy there. So that's going to go on top. There it is, see? Nice mixture we got there. All right, so let me get my let go of my ego over here. Okay, let me uh, flip this over. 
And I brought in a little knife here to kind of trim around just in case. Break off the flakies. Ooh, it looks like we're good. Ooh, glorious. Now that side, def ooh, hit the camera there, sorry. Ooh, look at that. Now that looks scrumptious. And it's on its tray. So let's put our Ego frosting on there. Mmm, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. Let me get a spoon now. Spread it around. Yes, this is looking really good, isn't it? Alright, now remember our little blueberries? I can't wait to eat this one. Alright, I think that's enough. Mmm, so I get the honors now of taking a bite, but let me turn it here. Let's get it on the oven like we're ready to go. See it? So I'm going to take a bite. Here I go. It's crispy. It's sweet. And I have to say, it's pretty good. So I'm going to take another bite. Mm. Let go my ego. This was a great success. Remember, subscribe. We do appreciate it. Mm. Really happy with this one. Tastes like blueberry. It's crispy. It's sweet. Wow. Later. So if you want to follow through this video series, check the description for a playlist, search the channel, or just click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.